coming to you on another hot day in Belgrade. It's not quite as insane as it was last week, but for this pasty Irish man, it is pretty damn hot. The subject of today's video is investing as a way of making money and the uh, realism of that, how possible is that and how much is the online landscape full of absolute snake oil salesmen um, trying to take your money for courses and stuff and lead you down a, a dodgy path. So broadly speaking I'm aware that you know there's different levels of risk you can take in investing. There's you know you can invest in an index fund something like um, the S&P 500, find one of the index funds for that and just put your money in it and put it in every so often regularly and just trust that over the years the market will rise. Uh, that's obviously one of the most sensible ways of doing it. Then you can be like a long-term value investor, which is kind of the Warren Buffett school of thought, uh, where you, you know, really educate yourself on what makes a good business and then you do proper research on any business you're considering investing in and you back them for the long term you invest and you plan to leave your money in for whatever you know a number of years at least um and then you get to the more like degenerate end of the or certainly perceived to be degenerate end of the spectrum which is like particularly like day trading and stuff like that now obviously day trading holds a lot of appeal to a lot of people because what's kind of promised to you is like you know you can invest a few thousand and turn it into a million if you're good enough and everybody would say like nobody's saying it's easy you know it's possible to do but you got to be good and da 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 um but i gather other people would say no that is all total horseshit uh there's an incredibly strong likelihood that you'll just lose any money you invest in day trading. So I've been looking at a few different things. Like um, I like the guy who runs the Australian guy who runs the uh, New Money YouTube channel. Maybe I don't know if anyone watching this knows that channel. Or they might have an opinion. They might think that guy knows his shit. He seems to to me, or he's another snake oil salesman. But he doesn't seem to be. He kind of um, advocates the Warren Buffett approach long term he's not a day trader so i've been watching his profit for course which i mentioned in my very first video i think so that by the end of this section we actually get a real cash flow number for the business's operations but then i've also over this last few weeks been drawn to look at other stuff so for example i asked chat gpt i was like tell me some examples of successful day traders and the first person they mentioned was um timothy sykes what's up tim sykes millionaire mentor and trader here with the man stephen ducks Congratulations, $900,000 in profits in mm. one year from, what did you start with? Uh, 27,000. He comes across dodgy. <laughs> he spends so much of his videos like slagging off other people and being really defensive about his critics and stuff like that. And I've watched a few of his videos and I haven't, it hasn't been made really clear to me like what really is his method. Um, so I'm extremely wary. And then another person who's like maybe somewhere in between those two ends of the spectrum is, um, I've been watching some videos of Martin Shkreli, is how you pronounce it? You know, this guy who became famous as like a villain uh, in the headlines for buying this drug and hiking the price. I know you're smiling, but I'm very serious, sir. But I've only discovered recently is becoming a kind of a, at least to some extent a bit of an online star with a pretty big following because he seems very very sharp and he very no bullshit and he talks about the you know how to invest and his thoughts on the stock market etc now i watched about half an hour an hour of his first tutorial and he says very explicitly he's like it's extremely unlikely that you can make any kind of decent money by just investing like a few thousand and turn it into millions or whatever. Like that is extremely unlikely. And really anyone who wants to do his course should look at it like you are training to become an investment professional who will have skills that are useful to other people and you will be investing other people's money. If you look at that list, that name, Soros, Icon, Bloomberg, Dell, Cohen and Gates, you are not that. You are not that. You'll probably never be that. 
if you do want to succeed in investing, you're going to have to go the OPM route, other people's money. So bringing this back to me, I'm like, okay, obviously I want to be sensible. Any money I have, I want it not to just be eaten away by inflation. So I think I should, and I already have made some investments, but I think I should put it in um, like index funds, um, something that will hopefully appreciate over time. But in terms of the other stuff, like I'd be curious to attempt a bit of day trading with a really small amount of money or even like not even with money, you know, just uh, I think you can do it in a kind of using fake money, but tagged to the actual market, that kind of thing. I'd be interested to have a look at it, but I'd be extremely wary. Um, and then the Shkreli thing of like, I don't want to be an investment professional. I'm pretty sure I don't. I mean, the job I'm in at the minute is in the realm of finance. If I wanted to work in that world, I would just double down on that and try and just segue my way up the ladder in that world. But I don't think that's for me. And I also think it's very, it's not very remote friendly to be, maybe, maybe it could be, but I don't think so. Um, I think it's a bit more of a traditional industry. And if you're working for a company, they're probably going to want you in the office. But if anyone knows different, correct me. So yeah, it's a little bit of a ramble. This has gone six minutes, um, but I'm just letting you in on my thoughts about this. I'll continue investigating it, but I think, I think the reality is if you want to make money in this, if you don't have a load of money to begin with and you want to make money in this world, there's a strong likelihood that you just have to have a skill that people value and want to pay you for. The other kind of stuff, like the moonshot stuff of becoming a millionaire day trader or becoming like a YouTuber with millions of followers. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. This is nearly seven minutes. So this is uh, the first video dedicated solely to this subject, but I'm sure I'll have more kind of on the subject of what to do with your money and investing.